a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and we are talking about e-commerce ETFs today. So we all know that the market has rebounded very strongly in the past few weeks as various parts of the economy have started reopening. And then there are hopes for a coronavirus vaccine too, that it may uh, become available sooner than earlier expected. Uh, but there, there have been clear winners and losers in this market. And one area that has done really well of late is e-commerce. And uh, that's because, you know, millions of Americans stuck at home have been shopping online for all their needs. And uh, this trend uh, of online shopping was, in fact, rising over the past few years. The share of online sales uh, to total retail sales was going up. But the trend has just accelerated in the past uh, few weeks because of the crisis, because of the health crisis. And many experts believe that this trend may continue even after the crisis subsides uh, because, you know, uh, shopping habits are uh, transforming and uh, many of us just find it much more convenient once we start shopping online for even for things like groceries uh, we just find it convenient and we continue with that and uh, most of us will not be comfortable to go to the malls again uh, till there is a very effective vaccine available for mass consumption which may not happen for at least 12 to 18 months. And uh, many store-based retailers are already closing down because they cannot survive in this environment. Uh, just this month, we saw the bankruptcy filing by three major retailers, Neiman Marcus, J. Crew, and J. C. Penney. Uh, so there are three, there's some ETFs which benefit from this trend, and we will take a look at three of them today. So the first one that we are highlighting is by Amplify. It's the Amplify Online Retail ETF with a very easy ticker symbol to remember, I buy. This is the first and the largest in the space. It holds companies that uh, derive 70% or more of their revenue from online sales. It follows a modified equal weighting scheme and charges 65 basis points, pretty popular with more than 360 million in assets under management. And if you want to take a look at this ETF, you can go to the code page on zax.com. You can read our articles, and from there, you can also go to the external homepage, the, uh, the, Amplify, the Amplify webpage for this ETF, and look at other details. So as I mentioned, it follows an, a modified equal weighting scheme. So uh, the ETF would have about 75%, at least 75% exposure to U.S. companies, and the rest would be global. And within those two global buckets, securities are equal weighted, which means that smaller companies get a lot of representation in this portfolio. It will not be uh, dominated by the heavyweights like Amazon and Alibaba. So in fact, top holdings are Stitch Fix, Revolve, Expedia, Booking, Lyft, and some of these have been growing faster than Amazon of late. Now, the second one that we are highlighting today is by ProShares. It's the ProShares Online Retail ETF, ticker symbol O-N-N-L-N. Again, very easy to remember online. And it also holds companies that mainly sell, sell online. And it follows a modified market cap weighting scheme, slightly cheaper. Uh, with 58 basis points in expenses, and it is smaller to 127 million in assets under management. Again, if you want to take a look at the ETF, go to the code page on zax.com. Articles, report, and the external homepage link. Now you will see that uh, because of the modified market cap weighting, it will be dominated by the heavyweights in the industry like Amazon and Alibaba. You don't see the weights here, so you can go to the fact sheet to look at the weights and uh, you will see that uh, individual holdings are capped 
dropped at 24% at the time of rebalancing. Uh, so the fact sheet is showing Amazon at 27%. That was at the end of March. Alibaba at about 14%, uh, but uh, at the time of rebalancing, it will be brought back below to around 24% for each individual holding, but the ETF would be dominated by heavyweights. That is the main difference between I buy an O and LN. Now, the third one that I wanted to highlight is slightly different, and that is the best performer of late. So that is why I wanted to highlight this one too. This is also a part of the brochures suite of the retail disruption ETFs. And this is actually a long shot ETF. Uh, so it is 100% long online retailers and 50% short physical store retailers. Uh, 65 basis points expenses, slightly smaller than the other two. And again, you can go to the code page on zax.com. And from there, you can go to the external home web page, the brochures web page for this particular ETF. Now it uses the same kind of holdings for its long portfolio. For the short portfolio, you, it uses swaps. Uh, so you will see similar kind of holdings like ON, LN. Uh, in the long sh short side of the portfolio. Uh, and 50% short portfolio is in uh, these companies, small base retailers like American Eagle, AutoZone, Bed Bath & Beyond. And these are equally weighted. The short portfolio is equally weighted. Now, I also took a look at the performance. And as I mentioned that this trend has been continuing for the past few years, I took a look at uh, one year performance because uh, that uh, that's where when most all of these uh, have been around. And you will see that uh, uh, clicks and I buy are among the top performers. Uh, and uh, then comes Owen Ellen, and all these three have significant significantly outperformed the S&P 500 ETF over the past one year and this year as well. And in full disclosure, I own, I buy in the ETF investor portfolio that I manage. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next week.